Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We are here in Sybil's new place, uh, dating agency, I believe it is this time if I remember correctly. And we're gonna be going back to the office to try and do the phone hold thing, which I think we might have accidentally solved or partially solved ourselves by accident. So we're gonna head out. Uh, also, some of you guys mentioned that the music was a bit loud again, so it seems like some of the episodes... Especially the last episode and this one, the music is mixed really weirdly by default compared to the in-game dialogue, which is kind of weird, but I've lowered it a bit and hopefully that will sort it out again. Um, into the office we go. Uh, some of you guys have also commented on the fact that because of my accent and the way that I speak, I say save the world as in W-E-L-D, like welding, rather than the world. So <laughs> yes, I absolutely do that and of course you guys picked up on it straight away. Here we go. Let's use the phone. Calling, we are going to call uh, the White House. What? Actually, let's call Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza, two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> Very good. Right. Who are you calling, Sam? We are calling the White House. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Uh, okay. Have you checked the baby? We'll be right there. Uh, have you checked the baby? Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. <laughs> oh, good job, Dan. Good job. Oh, wait. Okay, he's gonna... I was hoping he wouldn't hang up the phone, you but... Calling, Sam? We're calling the White House again. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Okay, we're, uh... Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Right. Our phone bill is sure gonna be expensive this month. It is. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Oh. oh. Poor Max. All right, well, while he's on hold, let's see if we can head into the White House if he's distracted. That would be my guess. Maybe there's more to it, but I'm guessing because he'll be over at the phone in the White House, maybe he'll leave the door unattended for a second and we'll be able to get in. We shall find out. Where are we going, Sam? We're going to the White House. We're off to the White House. Something I oh, never boy. thought I'd ever say in my life, but Sam and Max makes us do funny things. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Okay, yes, good. He is on the phone. Can we go into the storage? Whee! Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, is anyone there? a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to Hello? renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Yeah. Later, Max. Hello? Later. <laughs> Alright, well. The door is unattended, so I guess that did work. Yep, we're in. <laughs> nice! We've left the bug out there still. I don't know if we're going to need the bug, but we're into the White House, so... There we go. Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, <laughs> and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. Oh, he's, he's hypnotized. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. <laughs> I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's hypnotized, all right. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we've got the boxing glove. Oh no, that's the guy we saw in the preview. Damn it. Okay, well, we're into the White House, at least. There's all badges and things. Now, something you guys who are in America might not know is that we are taught literally no American history in this country. Nothing at all. So I'm probably going to miss tons and tons of references. Unless it's been in something that I've seen before, it will go straight over my head. So feel free to point out references and things to me in the comments below. Um, yeah, we just we just don't teach it here. So Liberty Bell Lab. Liberty Bell is a light for this room. Just as America is a light for yes. Metaphor is such an ugly quality. In <laughs> All right, there's a magazine here. House of Representatives and Gardens. <laughs> nice. All right, well, uh, there's an eagle statue, some badges. I just want to have a look at this thing over here. I wonder if we can maybe 
do something about the campaign slogans and, and affect the camera in some way? Who's in this picture? Are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents? <laughs> Very good. We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. What's on these campaign slogans? It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those! Would want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. <laughs> All right, well, can we do anything with those? Potentially, yes, although we don't have... Hands off the cameras! I'm, ju I'm just having a look, don't worry. I'm not going not gonna to interfere with what you're doing here. There's another picture there. Commemorative plates and urn. <gasps> Is that Hugh Bliss's book? <gasps> There's a rat hole here as well. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I <laughs> Oh my god. This urn says Fluffy on it. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? Okay. Commemorative plates. These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. <laughs> Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? <laughs> exactly. Oh god. Alright, we've got a Nutcracker Washington here. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. All right, sorry. There's some star pillows as well. Hmm, throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. <laughs> there's a there's a, a, a thing to screw your mind up. Boxing gloves. Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. <laughs> Alright, Declaration of Independence. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence, or a crude map of Lithuania. <laughs> Alright, potted plant. Is that a potted plant, or the Vice President of the United States? It is hard to tell the difference. <laughs> God. Picture. Apparently, even U.S. Presidents have mothers. They look very similar, don't they? There's a family US resemblance. Senate talent show, second place. <laughs> My finest hour. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Whee! Calendar. Hands off, boy! That's my presidential calendar. Oh, it'd be a shame if someone did something to that, right? God, there's a lot of things here. There's a national budget. <laughs> the gas. <laughs> um, <laughs> the globe over here. Let's have a look. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. Yep, yeah, it's not surprising. Eagle statue. Take a look at that. <coughs> Gun and the money. <laughs> I love this country. Oh my god. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. <laughs> god. A <laughs> lot of badges. It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's have a look at this ribbon. Can we take this? Hey now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. C can we? Can we not borrow it just for a second? Let's look at the budget. Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. Okay, national budget. Chuckles. Hey man, do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet down the hall. Uh. This can only end in violence. Hmm, this guy's <laughs> voice sounds familiar. Yeah, you recognize him. We Max? do. Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. <laughs> I'm over here, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the guy who was in the toy mafia, wasn't he? He was the one who chased us at the end. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats. The surly tone. I've got it. You're that pit boss from the toy mafia. Yes. I smell a conspiracy. Conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. Oh, really? What's a toy mafia man doing here? What's the toy mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What toy mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. <laughs> the Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. Yep. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. That one, exactly. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. <laughs> That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. 
Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. Hmm, okay. Well, I suspect foul play. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. Or he did you, it. Perhaps. Very funny. Yep, yeah, that's what I was thinking. What do you do around here? What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asked the dumbest question of the day. Ah. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of husky boys sizes. He's a Ooh, sassy pants. <laughs> I thought you were on my side, Max. I just call him like I see him, Sam. Yeah, you're a bodyguard? You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the president. National security. Yeah, we do. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need Yeah, you. as in get out. And national security, as in we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic trance. Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny. <laughs> and that's uncanny as in you two try anything and I'll plug you. Oh, really? Well, you're always with the president then? You're always with the president? Even when he's got a, you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. I and mean, it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. <laughs> I mean, you weren't with him when we first walked in, though, were you? What's behind that door, anyway? What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should well. we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We'll see about that. We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Fine. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Yeah, I bet you can't. Well, it'd be a shame if someone were to pull a gun on you. Shooting him would get me in trouble with the Secret Service and the Mafia. Oh yeah, true. There's two, two, two people we probably don't want to annoy. Uh, can we just knock him out with the with the glove, though? Assaulting armed Secret Service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. Yeah, I can see that. Well, can we go through here? No one enters the war room. Why? That's it. You two are coming with me. Okay. So we can get kicked out then. And stay out. Hello. Now I have to get back to the present. Hello. He's not supposed to be alone. Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh. Look Welcome, who it is. Governor Wizer. President has been waiting for Wait, you. he's a governor, governor now? Wizard? Hey, who better to run a state than a washed up urination loving former child star? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is the White House. Well, there we go. Uh, let's grab this and see if it heard anything. Okay, here's what he said. Just step away from the door, Hello. please. Yes, sir, that is all I say. Thank you, sir. Okay, Hello. let's go back in and see if we can put this bug anywhere. Maybe we can overhear an important conversation or something. No, sir. I said soda abuse. It's a very important issue. Was I? No comprende, son. <laughs> but I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? Yeah. It's about time. Yeah, we are, yeah. Darndest thing. We just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for No, you. surely were not. Are they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed <laughs> clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Yeah. Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. Yeah, that we can do doesn't that. doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. A bit squeaky, Uno, though. Momento, por favor. Oh, you God. patient little guy, ain't he? All right, well, um, let's just see if we can put the bug anywhere. Maybe near the president or something. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Fine. Well, we'll leave, leave that there. Maybe we can hear something. Maybe Chuckles might say something. But let's talk to Wizard. What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, yeah, sorry. Governor Wizard? What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. West Dakota? The Just the funnies. <laughs> you mean the obituaries, Max. <laughs> potato, potato. We're uh... a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. Uh, I'm sure, yeah. How did you get into politics? How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race, but I totally won the popular vote. <laughs> was it a runoff election? You see Yay. what I did there? Runoff? Because he's wizard? Very good. You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. <laughs> what, were you do what were your qualifications for office? What were your qualifications for office? 
I'm a television celebrity. <laughs> now there's a platform <laughs> I can get behind. Oh, God. What are you doing here, anyway? What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. And that is... Who's Mr. Sap? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about it? <laughs> I can spell, you know. <laughs> it's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. Ah. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Wow, check you out. Tell us more. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. Yeah, very brief. I started brief. the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. <laughs> if we can't get federal funding, get people flat. all over the Dakotas Love it. are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week, just to throw my money away for some washed-up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. <laughs> oh my god. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. <laughs> Alright. You don't drink soda at all, though? So you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop, I was in a real <laughs> downward spiral. Uh... That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz. Next fizz. <laughs> For number one. Oh, then God. I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self destructive former child yeah. star. Peanut Franklin, Good for you. the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe we have to give him a soda then at some point. Uh, we're ready to interpret... No, we'll do that in the next one because we're out of time. So we'll interpret in the next one and we'll try and maybe find some soda as well. I'm really enjoying this episode so far. I've got to say, it's very, very good. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.